Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Monday, October 19th, 2020 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is balance, peace, and inner harmony are all personal responsibility. And as always for Monday, I like to do a week ahead overview. And I have to say this week, a little bit quieter than last week. Uh, this doesn't mean there's not some stuff. It doesn't mean that there's not some challenges. But overall, just a little, a little bit less. I would say that the biggest thing this week is we have the sun moving into Scorpio. So Thursday afternoon, depending where you live, but Thursday afternoon, about 4 p.m. Pacific time, we have the sun moving into Scorpio, which means this week, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and half of Thursday, we are working on finishing up these Libra lessons. And again, the Libra lessons of peace balance, harmony, working to seed those energies internally is really important. And I always say, like, it's always important, too, to have a nice foundation <laughs> for the next sign to come in on. Uh, Scorpio energy can be very intense. It can make us feel very vulnerable. It takes us into areas of power and control. It can make us go very deep as we're already working through uh, Mercury retrograde in Scorpio. We know there's depth there. It's also a time of the year where there is this thinning of the veil. So to have your personal balance, to know what it feels like when you're standing, metaphorically, on your own two feet, uh, energetically, having that good foundation, that's definitely important when we move into Scorpio energy. So keep that in mind for the first uh, part of the week, getting these Libra lessons utmost importance. Um, we're going to have the sun working in tandem with Mercury on Sunday. So almost, well, actually literally a week from today as I'm recording on, on Sunday evening. Um, so that may intensify some of the Mercury retrograde surfacing of energies. So do be aware of that. But I think we're going to I think we're also going to cover that today a little bit. So speaking of all that, that's all That's all that I'm really covering for this week ahead. Yeah, the moon will move through Capricorn. And as it moves through, like the Capricorn players, the Jupiter, the Pluto, the Saturn energy, might get a little hint of intensification. It, that's what I'm looking at. Like when I'm looking at the week ahead, I'm like, Thursday. Okay. <laughs> Thursday. Thursday, Friday just in time for the weekend, right? Anyway, so let's look at today's astro. So I covered a little bit in my write-up yesterday of this in conjunct between Venus and Mars. And yesterday, or today, depending when you're watching it, but on Sunday, we had a bit of a fast-moving yacht with it, um, but we still had this in conjunct working us. And the in conjunct is interesting. In conjunct energy, we're not seeing eye to eye. These energies are like, okay, we're feeling a pull, we're feeling a connection, and yet I don't know how to work with you. And it's interesting because it is Venus and Mars, and I, I relate to that book, Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus. There really are very substantial differences between the energies of Venus and Mars and between the energies of the yin and the yang energies. And that's the thing is like one is not better. One is not more necessary. They're actually both necessary. They're both important and they can work very well in tandem and in balance if they're not trying to avoid each other's eyesight, <laughs> if they're not trying to avoid where the other one has merit and is valid and is needed. So in this case, we have Venus in Virgo. Venus in Virgo is ready to care a lot. Venus in Virgo is ready to be of service. Of course, listening to the intuition. That's one of the gifts of Venus yin energy is tuning in like what is what is the internal atmosphere <laughs> saying? Mars is very impulsive. Mars is action-oriented, especially in Aries. So Mars doesn't necessarily always take the time to look before it leaps. And so here is one way they work so well together. Venus and Virgo is like, you can leap and you're going to leap straight into those thorns. <laughs> and Mars, even Mars and Aries is like, Venus, 
hey, this thing, this thing that you, you have intuitive that is right, like, come on, I'll, I'll, I got your back. Let's take some action. So we may feel a little of the inconjunct, a little of the not seeing eye to eye, whether it's internally, we're off balance internally, or we're experiencing that in outside relationships. But for each of us, we kind of need to check in in this. Like, are you tuning into your intuition? Are you honoring that inner voice, that inner talk? Are you, Virgo wise, like really noticing what's going on right now? And then Mars energy, where are you being called to accordingly then take action? So are you stuck at the looking first spot or are you stuck in the taking action energy? They are here to help you, but I think this in conjunct is to bring our attention to where these energies are not currently working together within us. I do have to say though, I have hope for us. I have hope for each of us. Libra is doing some good work. I have the integration card today. Hello, yin and yang, finding this balance. So that's very powerful in and through this. But again, you may experience this in outside relationships where you're not seeing eye to eye. I read a book and Oh, I can't remember the book, but I remember the question. Maybe there's a good reason. If somebody is offering you something and like you're like, ah, like your first instinct is like, push it aside. Can you take another look at it and be like, maybe there's a good reason? Because I feel like that can take down some of those walls and some of those blocks between, again, the yin and the yang, the Venus and Mars energy. Maybe there's a good reason. Now, it doesn't mean that their good reason is reason enough for you to take action still required to listen to your intuition. But if you can approach things with that energy today, maybe there's a good reason. Maybe that can soften some of our lines of war <laughs> that we have created um, in the energy field. Uh, also interesting. So Mars is actually being supported by Lilith. She's back. She oscillates. So Lilith, you can go your own way, honoring your own soul code is also working with that Mars energy. So Mars is really being worked by these two very strong yin energies that are like calling for intuition and soul following. So this really is a call not for outside so much, but definitely some inside work. Um, oh yeah, and I was gonna say Venus. Venus is actually being supported by Jupiter. This week Venus is meeting with all of the Capricorns. <laughs> so we have Venus trying Jupiter. So again, what I feel like with this is listening to that on point intuition is going to be helping in what it is that you want to build into your life, the good you want to physically bring into your life. So taking that time again to connect in, really wonderful. Now, the only thing that we have that's kind of interesting and may stir us up a little bit is we have Mercury once again meeting in opposition with Uranus. So we just had that happen maybe two weeks ago, not that long ago, like very, very recently, Venus and Uranus were in an op opposition. Now I'm saying Venus, sorry, Mercury and Uranus were in an opposition. Here they are again at nine degrees, Mercury is retrograde in Scorpio opposing Uranus and Taurus. Now Mercury and Uranus are both very electrical. They're very uh, mentally stimulating and electrically stimulating. So if you are a sensitive nervous system person, this is definitely a call to ground in. Um, Uranus energy, especially Uranus in, uh, in Taurus, can be very triggery around our personal worth. Now, at the same time, Mercury, Mercury retrograde in Scorpio is digging deep and bringing stuff up to the surface. So it may not be triggers that are happening today necessarily. The, and they're both, both planets are retrograde. So this really could be deep. What I'm feeling is like triggers of old, maybe something today happens that brings those energies up. So be very aware of that. Be aware of these old energies that maybe pulled you out of your power before that are resurfacing so that you can reclaim that power. So anything that triggers today, it really is ultimately benefiting you, even if it brings a little bit of a stressor forward. How do you take your power back 
in this moment? How can you ground it? Again, how can you find your personal, your balance, your harmony within yourself? How can you, again, stand on your own two feet in this energy? And speaking of that Venus energy, know and own your worth in this moment because that's part of that power play is really honoring your worth. That's another way Scorpio builds upon Libra energy because Libra like takes us even deeper to knowing our worth and the beauty and the goodness and then Scorpio is like you know your worth now you stand in your power so it's powerful energy <laughs> may have its challenges with it but it really feels like a very I don't know put your shoulders back feet on the ground hands on the hips kind of day especially Lilith hanging out with Mars um so again, integration, finding our balance and listening, listening to our inner personal guidance in and through this. Now I do have the guilt card, which this is a eight of swords card, strong mental energies. So we find this here and yet we can really be pulled out of that energy by over, by over mentalizing anything. So do be aware of that in and through um, this energy. I also have the dream card. And I feel like that's related to that Venus Jupiter energy, creating solid foundations of beautiful, loving, harmonious things in our life, whether it is relationship or it is um, looking at that in conjunction or the opposition still between Venus and Jupiter, uh, whether it is relationship or even just relationship with ourselves, relationship with beauty, relationship with the world, relationship with what we would like to call in and build in our world. Do be aware Venus is still interacting with Neptune. So there still may be some illusionary surprises out there. And yet again, standing on your own two feet and realizing you can create your dreams that you can work with the universe to step into your dreams, do hold space for that. With that, I'm going to finish up. So you can book a reading with me. Email me, nemeclark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power. And stay curious. Namaste.